It happens every once in a while. Races get cancelled. And when it does, teams need to find alternative solutions. Here in Wengen, we are never out of option. You can play hockey, curling, or whatever you want, and have fun on the snow! <laughs> Boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Wengen! Uh, I would say this is something the American team does when the race is cancelled and when the race is on. It's sort of uh, an annual thing to play hockey here in Bengen and then also whenever there's ice it's sort of a good way to get away from the sport and enjoy the outside. If you look at any hockey player that's never skied before, um, their ability to ski um, is immediate. They, you know, they have an ability to arc and feel the turn so you know, we can look at this also as fun but also in a way to get our legs in shape and to move forward. There's definitely similarities. I mean, like ice is slick and it's kind of a similar gliding feeling as it is in skiing and I think that's probably where it ends. Um, I mean, you watch some of these good skaters and they're pretty at a higher level, I would say, than us. So much fun. Is this an optional training for you guys? Or mandatory, mandatory. Supporting the boys? Actually helping or not really on no, the just ice? Just trying to shake them out. Take the little pukes out. It's a pretty, like, uh, not that fast ice, and <laughs> like uh, it, the surface, like the hardness is the same, but uh, yeah, it stops there. Falling on the ice on the soundtrack could be actually pretty soft, you know. Like this is, I mean, I, here I don't have any protection, you know. I mean, I shouldn't really comment on the brooming, but uh, since I just crashed doing it, but uh, it's not very, I don't know. There's not a lot of talent there. It's a lot of, you need to have a good communication with your teammates and then you just have to give her. It's really tough, so we just go for luck and uh, nothing else, we just cross our fingers.